I had uh, thyroid cancer. It was June of 2021 when it was first diagnosed. The tumor was found well before that, but it was thought to be benign until then. Um, so it was kind of an incidental finding at first. It was just a wellness visit before going to school. It was aspirated and came back benign. And then vet school happened and years passed and I had planned to have it removed just for aesthetic purposes really. And then when I had it taken out, the biopsy came back as, as cancer. Hindsight 2020, I went through vet school and that was the most important thing to me and I put this on the back burner. And not that I don't, you know, I don't know if it would have changed the outcome or not, but um, that's one thing I definitely look back on and have learned from this experience is that it's extremely important to put your health first. It didn't feel real um, until I was walking in the parking lot calling my husband to tell him. There wasn't much that he said or anything that he was just like, you know, just come home, get home. And we basically just like sat and looked at each other and cried and, and it was shock. It was hard to accept the diagnosis, um, but what was even harder was honestly just telling my family. My dad was in critical condition in the hospital and I didn't actually end up telling either of them until he got out. So that was really, really difficult. How do you tell your parents at 28 years old that you're a cancer patient? I reached out to a friend from high school who had cancer several years ago and honestly just asking, hey, how'd you get through that? It was just a very, um, it was very helpful for me for her to just tell her story. You know, that's why I really wanted to do this too because I just felt like, you know, anyone who is newly diagnosed and how I felt when I was diagnosed was it was just nice to know I wasn't the only person.